Hey YouTube, welcome to seeing me at my worst. <laughs> How are you guys today? <clears throat> I have COVID. <laughs> That's not funny. I laugh every time I say it because I'm still in shock. I've been documenting the whole experience on Instagram and talking about it on stream, but I figured I might as well show you guys a day in the life of having COVID. Today, I just have enough energy to maybe clean the mess that is currently my home because I haven't had any energy to clean for the past week. My home is currently covered in trash and groceries because all I've done is order delivery because obviously I'm quarantined and then once I'm done eating I sleep for probably 12 hours a day. <laughs> I've been sleeping a lot. I have been streaming because I do get these little bursts of energy so when I've had them I've streamed. I'm in extremely insecure about how I look right now so sorry about that. I'm also extremely insecure about how messy my home is but probably what this video is gonna be is me cleaning and cooking for myself. If that interests you, follow along. If it doesn't, that's so valid. I'll see you guys for the next YouTube video. <laughs> As of today, I can taste a little bit, but I can't smell. And I don't know why that, I don't see how that makes sense because your taste is so heavily controlled by your smell. But I cannot smell anything today, but I can taste a little bit. It's like muted taste which is better than tasting sewage because I tasted that yesterday for a solid five hours just in my mouth. Everything tasted like sewage. That was horrible. I am out of regular trash bags. Obviously, I can't go to the grocery store and get trash bags right now. I could order delivery, but it's so expensive. So I am instead just using my recycling bags as trash bags. That's a shirt. I don't know why it's draped like that. Sometimes my ADHD brain says, drape this over the stairs and then you won't forget to put it away. But that's been there for like a week and a half at least. I think I've forgotten to put it away many times. I was just trying to see what I could taste the other day and eating stuff with like reliable consistencies because while I had no taste, consistency was what mattered. Let's see, can I taste this today? This is a gusher. Not really. It's like the taste is in the other room. I'm getting a hint of the taste from the other room. I had foresight because I knew there was a huge possibility I had COVID because all of my friends had COVID. All of my friends had tested positive for COVID three days after I hung out with them. And I was like, cool, I have it. And if you guys missed the whole ride of that, I did get a test right after and I didn't have any symptoms yet and it showed up negative. But I was like, there's no way I don't have it because after I got that test, I started getting all COVID symptoms and I was feeling like crap. I was feeling sick. I was like, I'm at least sick, so I'm gonna get another test. And my other test came back positive last night, but now I've had all of the symptoms and I've been dealing with it for at least a week, I think. But I had the foresight, because all my friends had COVID. I had the foresight, I was like, I'm gonna lose my, my smell and my taste, so. The day before I lost my smell and my taste, I ordered a big piece of chocolate cake. I ordered cookies from McDonald's. I got all this candy and all these things that tasted good. Cause I didn't, I wanted to be able to taste them. And I'm really glad I did that. Cause now I can't taste anything. Is there any more trash in this room? Yes. Isley is currently running around outside. Do you want to come back inside? Here's the thing, she thinks she wants to, but she's gonna immediately want to go back out, so I'm gonna leave her there for a little bit. Oh yes, also, right before the COVID symptoms hit, I had pizza. I ate like a little, I ate like a little piggy right before because I wanted to taste everything good. And you know what I did and I don't regret it. Oh my God, I have so many dishes. I have had no energy to do a single chore. Y'all, my house is a mess and it's really embarrassing. But you know what I do have though? Even on the day where I couldn't taste anything, the one thing I could taste was 
fiery Cheetos. Oh, also look at this cute little note. This was from my friend Emma Pearl, who also streams on Twitch. She came over and brought me clementines and blueberries. She didn't come over. She like came to the house and dropped it off, obviously, because she didn't want to get COVID, but she dropped off some healthy foods for me, which was very nice of her, and I'm very grateful for her. Okay, now I'm gonna do some cleaning, BRB. Sink clean, dishes drying. I already am starting to feel a little bit more sane after that, <laughs> after getting that over with. It's nice to actually do stuff. I feel like I've been horizontal for a few days now, so it's nice to actually like feel well enough to do anything. Hello. Wish list things. I have an Amazon wish list if you didn't already know. It does not deliver to my house. However, to avoid people figuring out where I live, it delivers to a family friend and they bring me the stuff that is delivered to them. Which meant at the beginning of when I was thinking I was having COVID, I couldn't get any of these things. So now I have a bunch of stuff that just got delivered to me today from that family friend, from you guys. So I'm gonna thank you guys individually right now. Starting with Envy, one of my moderators, got me a second skylight. I love this thing, I think you guys know that. I have been using my other skylight for everything. I move it to every room of my house when I need to relax. So now I have a second one so I don't have to move it around as much. And this one does more colors. This one does pink and green and blue. Mine that I have currently only does blue. So I'm so excited, thank you NB. I was really hoping someone would get me this for Christmas. And you just said Merry Christmas, thank you so much Aiden. Merry Christmas to you my love. I am so excited about this. Allison got Isley a Christmas present, which is a little um, stimulation, she heard her name. I'm so excited about this present for the pup because this will be great for mental stimulation when I can't give her all of the attention in the world. It's like a little stretchy cable that you connect to a tree, but I'll probably connect to like one of the pillars on my back porch that she can play with. And it's like a stretchy thingamajig. I don't know how to explain it. I'm grateful for this because she needs more mentally stimulating toys. So thank you so much, Allison. And that doesn't stop there. Allison got me a bunch of things, and I'm pretty sure this was all from Allison, so I'm gonna thank you for this. We also got Animal Crossing stickers. Let me just open some. We have been going crazy with the stickers because of the gratitude journal I have on my stream, and you guys are loving it. We got Animal Crossing stickers. Actually, quite a few of you guys got Animal Crossing stickers for me, so I am, so excited because we blew up recently because of a viral TikTok of mine that went around of me playing Animal Crossings. I love these. Like, look at little Marshall peeking through. Marshall and Celeste. Another one of Celeste. Thank you so much, Allison. And you also got us some emojis. We had one similar to these that I was using for the gratitude journal, but we've almost run out. So this is perfect to replace the old ones. This is from Allison as well. More Studio Ghibli stickers. <gasps> Look at this Princess Mononoke one. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Look at that Princess Mononoke sticker. We've got Gigi. I actually like these. These are a little bit smaller than the Studio Ghibli ones I have currently because they take up a lot of space, so this is actually kind of great. This is also showing me that I need to watch more Studio Ghibli films because I don't even know all of these. Thank you, thank you so much. And then next we have a sticker pack given to us by Pearly Prizes. Wanted to send a little something as a Christmas gift. Thank you for being part of my year. Take care and stay safe always. I really appreciate you guys. Y'all have been such a massive part of my year too, so. <gasps> Wait, Pearly, these are fruit basket stickers. My favorite anime. Look a look a look a look a look -a. Kyo and Yuki and Toru being all cute as hell. Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh I'm so excited to use these in my gratitude journal. Oh I'm so 
stoked. Pearly, these are everything. Thank you so much, I love them. And then last but not least, Thank you for keeping me company on my late night drives as a truck driver. I think it would be awesome to be friends in real life. Keep being awesome, Cooley. You bring happiness to so many people. And this is from Aaron. Aaron, thank you so much. Aaron also got us the Animal Crossing sticker pack. So we have two of these. And I'm stoked. We're gonna have so many Animal Crossing stickers. Let's take a look at some of these. Where's her husband? Here he is. <laughs> Wait, let's put them together. Hold on, hold on. Look at them. Best couple in Animal Crossing ever. Mm, actually, nah, Flick and CJ are. Let's be honest. Look how smug Tom Nook is. He's like, yeah, I tell you all to make me money and I do nothing. I just sit on my booty and drink iced tea. What of it? Aaron, Pearly, Allison, Envy, thank you guys so much for the Christmas presents. I am very grateful for y'all. I cannot wait to use these in the gratitude journal to exercise the pupper and to heck and relax. I'm definitely using this tonight. In the bath. We're gonna take a bubble bath. I'm so happy I have so much energy today. Let's see how long that lasts. So that didn't last long. <laughs> I sat down on the couch. <clears throat> After filming that last snippet, I sat down on the couch and ordered groceries that I won't get till tomorrow, which is frustrating, but it is what it is. And now I'm short of breath. I think I'm hungry, so I think that's why I don't have any energy, but I have tortellini to make. But that means I have to stand up and make it. And I know that's so small, but right now that feels so big. That's what she said. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All of this has been happening for like a week now and it stinks because technically my quarantine didn't even start till yesterday because of my positive result. And I haven't been able to do anything with Isley and she's acting up because of course she is. I haven't been able to exercise her a whole lot and she's stir crazy and I can't do a whole lot with her because I don't have the energy to, nor can I take her outside, walk her, take her to the park, introduce her to other people. I can't socialize her. I can't even hire a dog walker to walk her for me because there's studies showing that even though animals aren't like getting COVID, they can still carry it and give it to others. I don't know, everything is so up in the air and I just don't want to risk it. However, the two days that I was the worst, she did not leave my side, y'all. She was Nurse Isley all day. She just laid with me in the bed because I couldn't even get out of bed those two days. She didn't whine, she didn't try to like get me to play with her. She just kept laying on me. I woke up at one point in the day and her head was just laying right here between my shoulder and my neck, just like right here. She just didn't even care. She just knew that she needed to be there for me. And I am grateful for her in so many ways. And I, I keep having to remind myself that even though she's frustrating right now because I have no energy, she's every right to be this frustrating right now because she's stir crazy. I'm going to spoil the crap out of her once I'm feeling well enough. I look like Birdo. Birdo. Okay, I gotta stop. I was gonna film myself making this, but I was on the phone with my dad, so we were talking about my symptoms and stuff, but it's time to drain. Insane in the membrane, insane, time to drain. Insane, time to drain. Yum. God, pesto is not my usual go-to, but when you get groceries delivered, they don't always get the brands, you know. That is moldy. Okay, well, time to improvise. I've got diced potato, diced tomatoes. Let's try this. Cool, just got red on my white sweater. The reality of the situation is that I have not been able to do any sort of laundry, which means the only fucking sweater I'm down to wear right now that doesn't 
feel terrible because of my sensory issues. <clears throat> Has a location on it that I don't want you to see. To avoid Caesar having to blur it out, I'm gonna put duct tape on my shirt. <clears throat> Location's covered up. Now I got fucking diced tomatoes that I'm gonna attempt to turn into some sort of fucking pasta sauce. Tomatoes. I have no idea how old these onions are, so let's give them a sniff. No, they smell good. Well, wait, I can't smell. Wait, <laughs> I was gonna use a sniff test, but I can't smell. Yeah, so who knows if this actually tastes good? Should I just do it? What's the worst that can happen? I already have COVID. Oh, that might be a mistake. Maybe I should just eat it plain like this. An oatmeal container, a wooden bowl, a plastic water bottle, and a paper towel roll. So I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. It's boiling. Who knows if that's a good thing. Let's just like, we're just gonna stop here. We're gonna stop here. Worst case scenario, I eat the tortellini without sauce. And it tastes fine anyway. Because it can't taste anything. So I put a little bit of torts, a little bit of torts, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of dressing. Okay, let's see these two together. It's spicy. Here's the thing I don't hate it, but I think now I just want to eat the tortellita plain. Really curious what it would taste like if I um, could taste. This is what it looks like. This is what that looks like. I think that's what they look like together. I don't know, man. It's not ideal. I decided just to eat the tortellini pasta plain with like crushed red pepper, just because I couldn't smell the onions and I don't remember how old they are and I don't want to accidentally make myself sicker. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat some tortellini and watch some Survivor and I will catch back up with you guys later. This is what most of our nights have looked like for the past week. It's not even 7 p.m. yet, but I'm ready to go to bed. And she's just keeping me company. I have my switch, you can see it glows in the dark. Um, and I have my night light, which is so pretty. My throat hurts. I have this cough. The cough didn't show up till recently. It's really painful though. It's few and far between, but it hurts when it happens. And my throat hurts real bad right now. I love you. <laughs> you looking at yourself? Can you kiss? Mm, thank you. Oh, my mouth is open. <sighs> I was yawning. I'll see. You. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Hello, it's two days later, it's Christmas Eve, and I can smell today. I can smell my perfume. I can't smell it super potently, but it's there, and I feel decent, and I took the last two days to not stream, so I'm gonna stream today. So I'm getting ready to stream, and I realized I didn't finish out the vlog, I was gonna finish out yesterday, but honestly, I was so depressed yesterday because I couldn't smell or taste anything, and it was close to Christmas, and I was starting to lose hope that I was gonna be stuck with no smell or taste for the rest of my life because quite a few people have had issues getting their taste and smell back after getting COVID. Anyway, I am so grateful today to feel as well as I do 
to be vaccinated and to be able to bounce back. Not everybody has been as lucky as me, obviously. But man, I, I was sad yesterday. And so I spent most of yesterday in bed crying and playing video games on my Switch. But today I feel better. My friend who, I'm pretty sure is the friend who infected me with COVID, she's gonna bring food that she's been cooking for Christmas tomorrow over to my house so that I have Christmas food. And on the bright side, her and I can still see each other while we're quarantined. But yeah, so hi. I need to get ready for today's stream. I just showered. I figured I'd talk to you guys and answer some questions you guys had for me about my COVID experience on Instagram while I get ready. I don't feel like washing my hair today because I need to be live in two hours and my hair takes forever to dry. So we're gonna dry shampoo it. Sound good? Also, if you guys want to know about this outfit, I have these flare pants that you can't really see from free people. I don't know if I like them or not, but I spent too much money on them to be unsure, so I keep telling myself I like them. I like them from the back. I don't love this in the front, which you can hardly see, but there's something about it that weirds me out. Like, it needs to be like tighter or something. I don't know, like I don't mind this pooch that I get. I think it's normal and beautiful and sexy, sexy, but the design makes it weird, if that makes sense. But the ass looks phenomenal, but it doesn't matter because nobody in my stream can see it. Today we are playing Mario Party. Surprise, surprise, if you guys watch my streams, it's always been playing since I got sick because it's nice to have people to play games with while I'm brain dead because one of my personal number one symptoms of COVID has been having no brain power whatsoever. I'm curious if it's because I'm ADHD and so adding ADHD on top of COVID brain, like I don't have any memory. <laughs> I can't think, I can't brain, I can't remember shit. So I've been playing Mario Party on stream because I can bounce off of whoever I'm playing with and we can have good conversation even though I can be forgetful. <laughs> so tonight we're playing for Christmas Eve, we are playing Mario Party with one of my best friends of like six or seven years, Gagsy, who is a moderator of mine, but he's literally been in my life since literally forever. So he's like my family knows him. Anyway, I'm super excited to play Mario Party with him. I also invited my editor and my thumbnail artist, but it is Christmas Eve, so I'm not expecting them to show up unless they can. Considering I haven't brushed my hair or washed it for a week, my hair actually looks kind of phenomenal right now. So let's give it a sprint sprout spray. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to answer your questions. See, COVID brain. Okay, so you guys have asked me questions on Instagram. I'll be honest, there wasn't a whole lot of them, so this will be kind of easy to get through, but I figured I'd answer them anyways. What are you doing slash taking to manage your symptoms? So I remember at the beginning of the pandemic, they were saying not to take ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is usually what you use like when you have the flu or whatever, and you're trying to get rid of a fever because it's good for inflammation, I believe. Don't quote me on that if I'm wrong. But because everybody was saying not to take ibuprofen at the beginning of the pandemic, I was taking Tylenol whenever my fever would get really bad. To deal with the sinuses, I was taking an allergy med. I was taking vitamin C every day and little chewable tablets because that's what the doctor told me to do. Is this your first time getting COVID? Yes, this was my first time getting it. I had a COVID scare semi-recently, but I tested negative, so I was like, whatever about it. I was still careful when that happened, though. I still stayed quarantined just in case, but I tested negative, and I didn't end up having really any symptoms. I was just like, sick. At the beginning of COVID, everybody started locking down in America in like March of 2020, but in January of 2020, I was bedridden for 20 days TMI, but it started with explosive diarrhea. And then I was super weak. I was sleeping like 20 hours a day. I couldn't keep any food or medicine down. The doctors thought I had pneumonia. So like part of me thought like, thinking back that maybe I had COVID back then, but obviously I don't know, and I don't know if I ever will know. But I was bedridden for 20 days. 
before the pandemic. But other than that, this is the first time confirmed that I've had COVID. Is there anything you can still smell or is your smell, your sense of smell completely gone? Okay, until today, my sense of smell was completely gone. Like completely, it was so odd. Like I could put my nose in a jar of apple cider vinegar and not smell anything. I could put my nose in my little jalapeno. I have these like crunchy jalapeno things that you put on um, salads. And when you like shove your face in there, it almost always like makes you cough because it's so spicy. And yesterday I was able to eat a handful of it and not even feel spice. The past three or four days, all I have eaten has been spicy food because it's the only thing that kind of had a taste for me. So there's that. But yeah, like I could only eat spicy shit because it was the only thing that had any flavor, but I couldn't smell anything. Even though I could kind of taste food, I couldn't smell it, which is really weird. I, I knew what it was supposed to taste like and I could remember it, but it just wouldn't taste like that. It would just taste like barely a hint of that thing. And it, it came in waves too, because like some days I could taste really, really well. And like maybe a few hours later, I couldn't taste anything. That was the most frustrating part was because it was so inconsistent. I was delivering food because I didn't have groceries when I found out I had COVID. And so I could like spend a lot of money on something delicious and then it would get here and I couldn't taste it at all. And I would just like stare at the food like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> when it comes to curling my hair, y'all, I'm never precise anymore because I have this shag cut and it doesn't really matter. I just want it to have some body. Whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect. I have COVID, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect today. It's a COVID Christmas, y'all. But man, like I'll say this, like, yeah, I'm vaccinated and yeah, I still got it, but it's like a bulletproof vest. Bulletproof vests don't stop you from getting shot. They stop you from dying from being shot. And it's the same thing with this Vax. Like, obviously I could still get it, and I did. But I had a far less horrible time because I was vaccinated. If you haven't been vaxxed and you're in my comment section, consider getting vaxxed. First thing you plan on doing when you're done with your quarantine, going on a hike. The worst part about being quarantined is that Isley is not getting any exercise like she deserves and she's not getting any fresh air. I mean, I, she's getting fresh air. I'm letting her hang out in the backyard, obviously, but like I can't take her to the dog park. That's the first thing I'm doing because this poor girl has been deprived of the best things in a dog's life since I've had COVID. What's it like to eat food you can't taste? Frustrating. At first there was like a novelty of it, right? And then the novelty wears out and then it's so frustrating. It's just, it's not fun anymore. Has Isley been a good nurse? She's been the best nurse. She has, obviously she's stir crazy cause I can't do much with her when it was really, really bad. She did not leave my side. I could not leave the bed and she stayed with me all day. She didn't beg to go outside like even once. Obviously I let her out when I knew she needed to, but she never begged. She was so patient. She knew I couldn't get out of bed. She was just like, I'm gonna wait for mom to have the energy to do it. Like she was so aware that I just didn't have the capacity. We spoon all the time. She loves being a little spoon, but she doesn't let me get super close to her face. She's like down to let me hold like her whole body. But when I woke up that morning, her face was under my chin, eyes closed, just like, and I was just hold, like caressing her head, like holding it like this. And she just was letting it happen. And that's how you know. Dogs, man, they're so intuitive. Like she knew I wasn't good. <laughs> and so she was just like, I'ma let mom do what she needs to feel better. We don't deserve dogs, man. I'm gonna finish my hair and I'll be right back. <sighs> oh, focus, hello. All right, honestly, this is like the best it's probably gonna get because it's pretty damaged right now and kind of sneaky greasy, so. This is good enough for stream. Okay, this is the fit. My room is a mess, but I have COVID, so I don't want to hear it. I have this shirt that I kind of hate from Target that I've had for years, but I layered it with like a cute lacy undershirt and my new flare pants from Free People. I love the flare pants. They look so good. It's a fine outfit. It's not perfect, but it's comfy, cozy. 
cute enough for someone getting over COVID. This is a present from Big Lurker, sending hearts and healing vibes from Cruel. Cruel, what did you get me? Bro, this game right here, look at this. This game right here, I grew up playing this on my Nintendo DS Lite, my little pink little lady. I loved the Cooking Mama game, and so I put this on my wish list uh, as a joke, but like, we have to stream this now. Cool, I'm so excited. This just made my inner child Scream! Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, thank you so much, Cruel. I see presents! Ah, I see presents! Who's this from? Who's this from? Who's this from? Merry Christmas to you and Isley. This is my favorite Weezer album. I hope it brings you joy. Shark Boy! Did you get me vinyl? Shark Boy, did you get me vinyl? Shark Boy, did you get me vinyl? I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <clears throat> Y'all, you guys have no idea what this means to me because the only reason I own a record player is because my abusive ex got me one. And so all of my albums are currently from my abusive ex-boyfriend. So now I finally have a vinyl. I'm gonna cry because it's my favorite Weezer album. Oh, this is really important to me. Thank you so much. I can finally listen to my record player without feeling weird about it. <clears throat> Thank you, Shark Boy. This is. Yeah. I love Weezer. You guys didn't know that they're one of my top three favorite bands of all time. And this album in particular was the reason I got into them. <clears throat> Thank you, Shark Boy. <sighs> oh, but that does remind me. I discovered yesterday when I showed you guys the packages I got from you guys the other day, I left out a package from Envy. Envy also got me. Let me double check and make sure this is from Envy. Yeah, this is from Envy. Merry Christmas to you and Isley. I hope you'll have an amazing holiday season and an even better new year. I'm so incredibly grateful to have you in my life. Thank you for everything. Envy, I am so grateful to have you in my life and everything that you've taught me. And now I get a cute little lounging lingerie set from you. <laughs> That's so cute, are you kidding? Oh, this is sexy. This is sexy. Oh, it's all frilly and sexy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this on. I'll probably show Fan House this if you guys are subscribed to my Fan House. That's so cute, Envy, thank you. And Envy, who also goes by Aiden, by the way. Aiden also sent me a present for Isley. This is perfect, because Isley eats too fast. So it's a little thing to put Isley's food in. So she eats slower. And it gives her some mental stimulation. Oh, I'm so stoked. Oh God, I'm all sweaty. I'm sweaty for opening all of this. Okay, I need to get ready for my stream, or I'm gonna be late. So let's do that. <gasps> Chat, I have been vlogging my COVID experience. So hi, hi. So for those of you in chat, you know who you are. Thank you so much for your amazing wish list gifts that I received today and all of this week. Cruel, you're one of them. Thank you guys so much. That'll be in my YouTube video. Everybody say hi to YouTube. Everybody say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, oh no, my battery's good.
So yeah, last time I saw you guys was like four hours ago. Um, we're still live and Linda from accounting just gifted me a hundred subs. I had to put it in the gratitude journal. Look at this, look at this. I gave them a whole sticker just for themselves in the gratitude journal. Thank you, Linda. I'm so grateful for you. Everybody in chat, wiggle. Focus, 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 focus. Roni, not Roni saying boobs in chat, so it's in the YouTube video. Roni. Caesar. Caesar? You gotta censor it. Caesar, censor it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it is 5.30, and I actually had a very busy Christmas so far, so that's why I haven't gotten out the vlog camera yet. So let me do a little rundown. Okay, stream ended 10 hours after it started. Whoops. I accidentally played Mario Party for nine hours. <laughs> I had a great time. Sir, 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 <laughs> sir, take my letter. Take the my way letter. he runs. He's in my letter to Santa. Hold on, can I do an impression of how he runs? This is my impression of how yeah. Shy Guy runs. I know, he really is. We hit a sub goal, which means we're gonna be doing a Shrek movie night sometime soon in my Discord. And it's not just Shrek 1, it's Shrek 2. We unlocked a double feature movie night. We'll be turning Shrek into a drinking game and having the best time. I'm stoked about that. So I didn't go to bed till like 4 a.m. At least I tried and then I tossed and turned because I was anxious for some reason. Not like scared anxious, but like I was just like happy. Like I had so much fun, I was like literally buzzing. So I watched the sunrise this morning at 7 a.m. I watched it from my hammock in my backyard and it was amazing and that was great. And then I had a little breakfast, which was literally just a breakfast bar and watched some Survivor with Isley on my couch until I fell asleep at like 7.30 a.m. So then I woke up Christmas day at 1 p.m. and I had texts from two people who wanted to socially distance and see me today. Basically family members who aren't family members. I've known them my whole life, they're basically family. So they came over and talked to me from across the street and it was amazing and really refreshing. I haven't seen them in like two years, so that was incredible. I was supposed to spend Christmas with them until I got COVID, obviously. And then Hannah, my friend who also has COVID, came over with a whole feast. She came over with a whole Christmas feast and we ate it together. All I have is this one little video. Oh, and then I have a video of a present that she got me, me unwrapping one of the presents she got me. I didn't know we were getting each other presents, but this was so cute and thoughtful and I love it. And it looks just like me. I had a great time, y'all. Listen, Christmas could have been such a downer this year, but last night we had so much fun on stream. Today I had so much fun with Chosen Family and I'm beaming. I'm having so much fun. I need to like get ready to stream right now. My hair looks a mess, but I think we're just gonna go with it because I looked really cute yesterday. I don't need to look really cute today. I didn't even have a Christmas outfit, so Hannah's letting me borrow hers. So let me just get into it. Ready? <laughs> look at that. Hannah was wearing this when she came to bring us food for Christmas today and I was like, I don't have anything Christmas to wear because I wasn't planning on streaming today. I didn't have any more Christmassy things because I wore my Christmas clothes on last night's stream and she was like, just wear this and she took it off and I was like, all right, it's festive, it's cute, it's giving lesbian. Listen, if sexuality was a choice, I wouldn't have chosen to be bisexual. That's cute. Let's put on some makeup and go live. And six hours later, we're done with the stream. I'm a little eggnog tipsy. I know I shouldn't be drinking while I'm sick, but it was a holiday. This is my last and final glass, I promise. Like, look at this, like, if you guys have my stream eye. open. Look at this. The tree. Like, that's I'm too looking. much cinnamon. I'm oh my god! <laughs> 
It's an island. It's dry. <laughs> Coolie. It's delicious, and I'm feeling like I'm on the up and up. Hopefully, I'm not gonna regret that in the morning. But stream was amazing. Christmas, holidays in general with you guys, with the Coolie crew, with my Twitch viewers, my YouTube viewers, is one of the most fulfilling things I've experienced. Having friends to spend these vibey nights with as well, to play games like Mario Party with, is really great. <laughs> and I'm really grateful, and I'm so happy. And God, it just, this these past few days could have gone so horribly, and they just didn't. I've got nothing but gratitude in my heart and my soul and I'm definitely gonna go do some journaling so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I kind of wanted to vlog my experience celebrating the holiday with COVID but yeah if you guys like vlog style videos like this let me know by leaving a like leave a comment if you haven't yet I love when you guys comment on my videos I get to see how you feel about stuff and I get to hear about how life is going for you guys in the comment section below subscribe to the channel hit that bell button you can see when I have new videos live yeah thank you guys again for making my holiday season so dang special I'm very lucky thank you guys for reminding me how lucky I am almost every day I will see you guys on the YouTubes later skaters let's survive COVID together friends